Hi, in this video we're going to show you a tweak you could use to get yourself a Windows 7 style start menu on Windows 11. So it's called Explorer 7. So this is reasonably new and right now it's in beta. So this is definitely a use at your own risk type of thing. And it's also definitely a create a system restore point before you use it type of thing. So depending on when you're watching this, it might be a little more finalized. So they do warn you about um, it being buggy when you try and use it. Okay, so to use it, there are a couple of steps, and when you open the README file that comes with it, it'll tell you. So it's just a zip file, you extract it, and you run these files here. So there's an install section here. So first you need to import this registry file. So we'll do that now, double click it. Say run, yes to the UAC prompt, yes to this, and okay, so that's done. Okay, so you're going to need to have a Windows 7 ISO file or DVD or installation file somewhere on your computer to point to it. So that's one of the catches there. You should be able to find a way to download it online if you don't have a copy. So on this computer here, I have it mounted in on the D drive here. Okay, so once you have that, you just run the executable here. You might get this prompt saying, uh, we don't recognize this app, so it's up to you to continue run anyways. And say yes to the UAC prompt. All right, so now you could specify the folder so you could point to your installation files or you could try the automatically, which seems to work if you have the uh, DVD mounted. Okay, so it found the files. So now you could see it has some extra files here, like an Explorer EXE. All right, so there is a seven and an eight version. The eight didn't work for me, at least not right now. So we'll try the seven first, then we'll try the eight. Okay, so shell switch complete. You have to log off and back on. Okay, so we're logged back in, but it uh, looks like it killed my desktop background, so sometimes restarting Explorer will do that. So now you can see we have a Windows 7 style start menu with all your folders here. Go to your documents, control panel, and you can see we have the older File Explorer uh, ribbon back as well. So one thing that I do not like about it, but maybe it'll be fixed by the time you try it, is you can't use the Windows settings. If you type in settings, you don't get any settings. And if you right click, let's say you wanted to change display settings, it'll just spin and then eventually give you an error. We could open our browser like so, it works fine. We'll wait for that error. Let's kind of go through some other stuff here, devices and printers. Default program is probably not going to work because it has to go to the Windows settings. So while that's thinking, let's go back to the folder here. All right, so there's our message. The file does not have an app associated with it, so it can't get to the display settings for Windows. And you'll see this Explorer EXE. It'll just open an Explorer window. That's all it does. All right, so now let's try the Windows 8, and I'll show you that right now it's not working. So if we choose the Windows 8 setting, then it just shows the Windows 11 start menu and taskbar, so that might be working in the future. So like I said, this is brand new as of this video, so uh, there's going to be some bugs. All right, let's take a look at this registry file here real quick, just to see what it's doing. So it's doing quite a bit, actually. So you might want to do a registry backup, too, in case you want to revert this back. And I'm assuming they're going to have a way to uh, revert it back, maybe coming up. So maybe this option will be a, a revert back, or as of right now, this reverts it back anyways, in case you need to go back to your Windows 11 style. So like I'm saying, this is definitely one of those use at your own risk, make a backup type of programs here. So, but it might be something you could play around with. 
All right, so I will put a link in the description where you could download Explorer 7 and then you could take your chances with it. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.